Hi, it's me, Brian. A little behind getting live today, but here I am. I'm back at Sportsman's Rod and Gun, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Great gun range here in Hardy County, in Central Kentucky. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm back out here. I've got my 9mm handguns. I've got my Canik uh, TP9 SFX, and I've got my uh, Ruger Security 9. And I learned a couple things yesterday about about this. And the gun needs kind of hot ammo to run. It runs best with 124 grain uh, ammo. Does not like the 115 grain stuff, which this rig is 115 grain all day long. Uh, so, anyway. What I've done is, but after I found out it would run on the 124, after I ran 200 rounds 124 through it, what I found was that uh, the gun was pretty warm. I was out of my 124 grain, so I went back to my 115, and it ran fine with 115 grain. It just wouldn't consistently lock the slide up. So I thought I'd do an experiment. I want to see if this panic will run 115 grain ball ammo Colt. I have a sneaky suspicion that it won't. But we're going to give it a try. So I got two mags. Mag 1 here is loaded up with federal white box 115 uh, target range ammo. Mag number 2 is loaded up with Winchester white box 124 grain NATO ammo. So we'll see what happens. Hold on, I gotta do some. I had to put some stuff back in the range bag at my feet. It was kind of messing me up. Okay, so we're gonna get this sucker loaded up. I've got a silhouette pistol target seven yards. Let's see how she goes. So far, so good. Even locked the slide back. That was 20 rounds of 115 grain. No point in up the stuff that I will run, but, you know, hell, we'll try it for shits and grins. I didn't enable this. I'll get better at this. Well, let's see how this goes. This is a 124 grain Winchester. Damn. So it's really not a question of uh, it's really not a question of hot ammo or not really uh, at this point or really the gun was warm. I guess I just need to hammer that spring hard enough consistently enough with with rough and with hot ammo to. See, which ones do I have in this? Okay, this is 115 grain right here. Pretty sure. A 
workhorse rigger. That's the thing of beauty when guns run. Well, they shouldn't work. I probably should have changed out that target. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all get to watch me load up mags. how much of this 115 stuff I can just get rid of.
going to do a quick mag dump. 15 rounds. That's fun. Oh my goodness, that's fun. Swap out targets. Let's see if I can work on my accuracy. So. There you go. Go ahead, make fun of me. Next one I think is going to be for everyone. I'm actually going to put it the target. So, that's this one. Okay, trying to focus in on the center of the torso. That's where I'm aiming. Target's at seven yards. This will actually help me a little bit. And truth in advertising, I'm going to brace against the bench. Try to keep myself a little more stable. So, here goes nothing. That's five rounds. I see I'm pulling three of them hit left. And where's the rest of the rest of them? Yeah. Okay, there's the other two. So I'm hitting left in my point of aim. All right, so. But I'm not necessarily hitting low. I'm hitting a... My elevation's good. It's my windage. Okay. That was five rounds. Let me shoot five more. Here.
That's a much better grip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so. Maintain the same point of aim. Now. Well, this is 115 grain, so it's really, it's really shouldn't surprise me. This is 115 grain stuff. So, what I'll do is I'll just flick this out like that, and then I'll, uh, Turn the camera back around. And I got to zoom it back in again. No. Let's zoom in on the target. There we go. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get another five round grip in. Felt, uh, turn the camera around here. Okay, it, it failed to lock open on the last round, but I locked it up with manual. But you know, I'm shooting 150. I'm shooting 115 grain stuff. I kind of expect that. Well, anyway, now I know what I know. Uh, really, if if you have one of these Canic pistols. Uh, get one brand new out of the box highly recommend run run a lot of 124 grain through it just extra, you know, just let it run just run it hard for about two three maybe 500 rounds and run it hard let it go and then that'll kind of break it in and then you should be able to run pretty much any cheap old range ammo you find in it so I mean that's what I've learned you know I did a lot of bad talking about canning of my initial experience just from shooting frankly weak ammo out of it uh, so got no one to blame but myself on that uh, yeah well anyway I've pretty much made my point I know for these live streams to work you really got to go a long long time but uh, anyway I'm gonna load up some
I'm gonna load up some magazines with good ammo with the 124. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'll adjust the camera a little bit if you want to see me. If you want to see me load mags? Oh, this here is called a Mag Lulu. Shoot a lot. Uh, this is a great pistol magazine loader. It's a universal loader. Uh, I I use it on my 1911 mags. I use it on my Ruger mags. I'm using it on my on my Canic mags. Although, uh, if you get one of these, Canic does ship a mag loader in the box. I haven't tried the factory mag loader because I already had this. But anyway, yeah, you're gonna want you're gonna want a good magazine loader. So now I'm getting into my uh, the Winchester white box 9mm NATO 1.4 gun. And let's get into the box here. Let's see. Mag loader on there. These are 20 round magazines. The standard mag on the Canic TP SF, TP 9 SF, SFX is an 18 round magazine, but this particular one, this particular SKU I picked up, comes with the with the extensions, which makes them 20 round mags. So look, I'm up to I'm up to 15. That's why the mag bodies on these only go to 18 because that extension gives you the two more round capacity. Standard canic mag with an extension, basically. Sometimes number 20 is kind of a bitch to get loaded. All right. Another mag out here. All right, so I've got 40 rounds loaded up of uh, 9 millimeter NATO, 124 grain. I'm gonna turn the camera around, angle the camera toward the target. Turn it around. Try to zoom in a little bit. Well, Oh, 
kind of learning how to work this camera deal here. I'm trying to get it aimed up, to get the camera aimed at the area of the target I'm actually aiming at. I tell you what, man, that thing, what, man, that thing is a joy to shoot. When it runs, it just runs. Let me give you a little Ruger. A little workout. We'll put, we'll let up 10 rounds for her. A 124. You know, the funny thing is, like, the Ruger manual will tell you not on a security nine or or when they first came out, because the one I have is like a first edition, is they'll tell you not to run too hot of ammo in the film. But that Ruger, man, she's run the dirtiest, cheapest crap I've ever found. I guess I just kind of expected all guns to be able to do that. Yeah. Alright, so... Now, I used to, I don't know if this is a feature or a but, with the Rugers, if you slam home the magazine hard enough, well, it used to send a slide home. Maybe it's, I've only got 10 rounds, maybe you got to do it with a full mag. I've done it before. I don't know. All right, let's do a 10 through. Let's do a 10 through Nancy. Nancy the 9, that's what I call her.
make sure no matter what you're keeping them pointed that way. Yep. Let's see here. Shit them. Should have brought the shotgun. Oh well. Board. We'll burn through some more of this cheap shit. Or the flight stuff. Is that considered a nice headshot? Or is that just a number? Hard to tell from back here. Okay. Zoom in on that target. I'm done. Okay, 15 rounds. I'm going to be aiming toward the head. This is my Ruger Security 9 shooting 115 grain Federal flight box. That's just standing. Oh,
Just turn the camera sideways so I can just show you. So I'm not flagging anyone or doing anything, being pointing in an unsafe direction. So that's the uh, that's the canic.